guys, it's the DYKB Kids Reading Program. My name is Camille. I am eight years old, and today I'm going to be reading. I'm all. I'm always almost kind. Are you guys excited? Cause I am. My mommy told me that being kind is the most important thing in all the world. More important than being the fastest runner, I asked, or think that they or then or then knowing all the answers, even more important than that than those, she said. So, she's talking about being the fastest runner is not that important. Being kind is always important. Sharing my candy. Being kind means helping my little sister... Helping my little sister's sister reach things from a high shelf. Putting away the breakfast things. Trying to cheer up people. Trying to cheer people up when they feel sad. And so this is what she's talking about. She's sharing her candy with other kids. Helping her little sister reach something for a high shelf. And always when you have little siblings, I have two brothers, and you're supposed to help them whenever they need help. Putting away breakfast things. I help my mom clean up breakfast after we eat and cheering up someone when they're sad. That also helps, like, if my brothers are sad, I'd ask them what's wrong and why, what do they need help with. But sometimes when I am kind, it doesn't work out the way I want it to. Hey, new kid, I like your crazy hair. Why didn't, why did she look so sad when I gave her a nice compliment? Why was Mr. Williams so mad about me being kind to the snails? Here you go, little snails. A nice dinner for you. Eat up all the flowers. Hey, stop that. And when I invent a great game for me and my little sister to play, let's be giants jumping on castles. So here's her tongue, the, the new kid, how she likes her crazy hair. But is it nice to say crazy hair? No, it's not. You're supposed to say, I like your hairdo or I like your nice hair. And then she's letting the snails eat up all the flowers. And she, she doesn't know that Miss, Mr. Williams likes those flowers and that he takes great care of them. And then, you not when you invent a game, you have to guess how other people think before you do something. Like her little sister, to work so hard on building these classes, and she just stepped on it. She screams, where? You're so mean. And I feel mad and bad and sad. I only meant to be kind. I help fix my sister's sandcastles. And afterwards, I told Mommy that I hadn't meant to be mean. Mommy understood. But what you think is nice isn't always the same same as what someone else thinks is nice. 
Sometimes you to be kind to someone, you have to walk around in their shoes first. So I tried it. So here's a little sister. And she didn't mean to be mean. She just wanted to play a game with her little sister so she could have fun. And here's her mommy telling her that sometimes to be kind, you have to walk around in someone else's shoes. So she tried it. And that's not really what she meant. You ruined mommy's shoes. She's going to be so mad. Mommy wasn't mad. She smiled in instead. I didn't I didn't mean real shoes, she said. I meant trying to put yourself in someone else's place. If you imagine how they might feel, you might see what you could make them happy. I'm sorry about your shoes, I told her. She gave me a hug. It unrumbled my feelings and made me feel happy. Mommy is kind. This is what it feels like when someone is kind to you. I thought so. I decided to try again. So, she tried her mom's shoes on, walked around in them, and her little sister told her that his mom, her mommy would be mad, but instead she just told her what she meant. She didn't mean real shoes. She just meant to put yourself in someone else's place to think how they think. Before I put snails on Mr. Williams' garden next, the next day, I tried to imagine how he feels about his garden. He loves these flowers. So I thought it might be kinder to look after them. Off you go, little snails. You can eat the weeds. Thank you. When I thought of a fun game, to play with my little sister, I tried to imagine how she would, how she might see it first. What would she think of a great big water fight? See, she's her little sister's painting pictures. She's thinking about what might happen if she just played a big big water fight with her. It was, if I was in her place, I guess I wouldn't want all my paintings to get soaking wet. Sploosh. So instead I said, can I play too? Even though I couldn't think of games, I'd rather play. So here she is thinking about how her sister would feel if... I mean, how she would feel if her little sister just had a big water fight while she was painting all the pictures, that it would get soaking wet and get messed up. But after I painted pictures with my sister, she played lots of my favorite games with me. Being kind is great, I thought. She's here playing with her sister in the swing, balancing on some pails but some people are hard to be kind to at school i found a new kid sitting on her own she looked really grumpy everyone was still playing and having fun so i sat down by her and asked do you want to play tag? She said. Skipping, I asked. No, she said. In the end, I want to be kind to you. 
In the end, I said, I want to be kind to you, but I don't know how. What will make you happier? She looked at me. I like soccer, she said. So I played soccer, and she stayed, and she started to smile. So did I. Then I realized something. Being kind doesn't just make others, other people happy. It makes you happy too. Kindness makes you feel warm and sunny and when you feel that way you feel like being kind to someone else oh oh no are you okay want want me to help you thanks you drop these here you go so the kindness gets passed on and it makes them feel warm and sun sunshiny and they feel like being kind to more people this is everybody being kind to each other she's helping the little boy because he fell she's she told her that she dropped some stuff some of her books and here this is just everybody helping each other you can i made you these i made you these pictures this is being nice and you can do it encouraging want to turn Yes, please. That's also helping each other to let them have a turn. And, and in the end, sunshine, kindness spreads everywhere. Are you lost? Thanks. I'll give you a hand. Here you go. This will help you feel better. Can I help you carry your packages? This is everybody helping everyone. Being kind is sometimes easy and sometimes hard but it's really but it's really important to try and because and because it's the importantest thing in the world i am almost always kind Hi guys, thank you for watching the DYKB Kids Reading Program and search up www.dykb.org slash membership and make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, comment below, make sure you hit that notification bell to notify every single time I post a new video. My name is Camille Stewart, bye! Hello everyone, my name is Matilda. So for today's activity, we're going to do a pot of kindness. We were going to write down different acts of kindness that we do at home or at school, or even an act of kindness that you want to do for your friend or for your parents next week. For this activity, you'll need four or five A4 papers, depending on the different acts of kindness that you want to have. Crayon, scissors, and also plum.
so this is how mine looks like you can stick it somewhere so that you can remind yourself that it is good to be kind to someone i hope you all enjoyed doing this activity on our comment section please tell us the different acts of kindness that you wrote